In Camera Lucida, Roland Barthes' reflections on photography centered on how the medium captures the intersection of life and death. While sorting through photographs of his mother after her death, Barthes discovered that he could experience her life essence, that which encompassed her soul, through photographs. A particular photo of a little girl in a winter garden contained the essence of all she would become, the mother he would know and love. Barthes doesn't show us the photograph because, as he says, it exists only for me. For you, he says, no wound. Barthes is wounded by this picture, one that would leave me indifferent, because the essence of his mother was gone, only remaining in a poignant detail in a photograph. He would never really experience her again. Barthes believes that all photographs have a quality of studium, or what the photographer intended the viewer to see. Studium, he said, can shout, but it cannot wound. Some photographs, Barthes asserted, also have a quality of punctum, which he described as the element that shoots out of the scene and pierces the viewer. Because it is unintentional, punctum proves that once in a historical moment, the objects in the photograph existed, unplanned, and that gives them life. However, at the same time, the photograph gives a sense of death. As Bart contemplates the photograph of his mother in the winter garden, he tells himself, she is going to die. Whether or not the subject is already dead, he writes, every photograph is this catastrophe. In the photograph of my father, I see in the buttons on his jacket the essence of all he would be. In the baby picture of my mother, the gingham of poverty reflects the loss of husband and son that is to come. I see life and I see death. As my daughter approaches adulthood, I feel a sense of punctum when I look at her baby picture. Never again will her fingers peek out from a too large sleeve. The preschooler is dead. She does not exist anymore. And yet, my daughter lives. When I look at pictures taken of the brief time I lived in Japan, I feel the sharp punctum of longing for what once was. The girl in that picture is dead. She will never exist again. And yet, she lives.